What's, What's good, good cuppies? It's Malia. And I'm um, Jay. And we're going to be talking about our compatibility in this video. Are we really compatible? Mm -hmm. Says horoscopes, blood type, and Myers-Briggs. <laughs> so we decided to do this video because, I don't know, I just feel like it's an interesting topic to dive into. You know, couples get together all the time, mm -hmm. but how many people are reliant on these kinds of tools, these mediums, in order mm. to see if they're compatible with that person. Yeah. Also, it's just interesting to check to see if we fit the standard compatibility that has been provided for us mm -hmm. based off of these things. <laughs> so which one first? Let's do blood type, because I feel like mm. that's very new to me. Korea in Japan, we have like blood type personality indicator mm. it's not even test because you're just your <laughs> blood type yeah you can't like take a test so you have a b o a b yeah right so four types each type uh -huh. has own traits the entire population comes up with only four personality types yes <laughs> okay let's see type a type a is honest creative sensitive Reserved, patient, too eager, and stubborn. Okay. And uptight, mm -hmm. conservative. Mm -hmm. mm, type B mm -hmm. is enthusiastic, enterprising, creative, passionate, strong, strong, <laughs> selfish, irresp irresponsible, irresponsible, irresp irresponsible, ruthless, unpredictable. Type O, pleasant, sociable, optimistic, but also vain, vain, dishonest, jealous, insolent. <laughs> Type AB. <laughs> It's relaxed, calm, rational, sociable, but also critical and decisive. Mm. But usually what I heard, type A is like timid, like very introvert. Mm. Type B is kind of always like negative way, kind of like bad boys, mm. and bad girls and mean. That kind of type. Type O is outgoing, extrovert, well-rounded. And type AB <laughs> is tricky. Because usually when we talk about type AB, he's crazy or genius, like psycho or genius. Interesting. Yeah. So that's like usual analogy of... So what is your blood type? So I am type A. Okay. So what is yours? I'm type O. What about... And O is really... When we were younger, like, blood, oh, blood type O is clean blood. And we were talking about something stupid food like that. Well, I have everyone know mm. I have the cleanest blood. Yeah. <laughs> Some people who really like like blood type personality indicator, like, oh, what's your blood type? Guess. Guess me. How can you guess? So, oh, I, I gotta guess How your you blood guess? type. How? So, um, you, you look like... Type B. Can you see my inside? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you look through my body with x-ray vision? What's your blood type? That's kind of a weird question. Yeah. Okay, so why there is blood type in historical background? Hmm. It's kind of sad. Okay. 19th century, there were studies called eugenics. Okay. There were studies okay. eugenics that we should make humankind better. So that occur like so many discrimination towards the racist and disabled persons. One of the doctor from German made that study and then mm. one of Japanese professor got that study and brought it to Japan and used that study as for Japan. So majority of people of Europeans were type A, but in Asia country there were less type A mm. people. That use that for oh, the Europeans are superior yeah. than Asian people. So, but Japanese use he used that <clears throat> as we are Japanese are superior than other Asians because in Asia country Japan has more type A blood type ratio more than other Asian country. Mm. Mm. When I was younger, early two thousand, the word boom blood type. Boom. That's oh, so popular. Interesting. There were webtoons about blood type, and so many memes, so many books. So we were always talking about that. So 
when we were younger, so let's say I'm eating ice cream. You want to try my ice cream. So, oh, can I try the ice cream? What's your blood type? That kind of joke. What's your blood type? Why, I'm, I'm type B. I'm, I'm type F. Oh, we can't share. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. That's the background of blood type. Blood type. So interesting. Yeah. Wow. Trying to predict someone's entire personality mm. based off of blood. Mm. But that, like you said, that's a really easy way to divide people, especially, mm -hmm. you know, in Germany, the Holocaust, mm -hmm. you know, just saying that we are genetically different mm -hmm. by just yeah. this one aspect. And, you know, they were studying the human brains, the, this bone size, mm -hmm. like black humans bone size that is smaller. So, oh, we are superior. That is also from the eugenics. <laughs> Clearly, we've never encountered this word before. Mm -hmm. At least I haven't. But yeah, I, I feel like I don't get it. Why? I guess because we always have the need to categorize people. So what about compatibility with type A and type O then? Usually blood type indicator, we don't do that. Oh. That's kind of, just blood type is more like a focus just on person per personality. Okay. And yeah. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Well, then let's talk about horoscopes then. So, horoscopes, as you know, are very popular. Yeah. Very popular. It has a long history, I'm sure. Yes, so long yeah. that I don't even know how long it is. But one thing that most Americans would know is their yeah. horoscope, whether they believe it or not. Mm. So, me, my birthday is November, November 1st. It's right in that Scorpio time frame. Mm -hmm. And... For you, your birthday mm -hmm. is January 21st. Apparently that's Aquarius. Mm -hmm. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know yeah. what my sign was. <laughs> because I don't follow horoscopes that well, like at all, mm -hmm. really. I don't know what an Aquarius like mm -hmm. personality is or what their compatibility is. But I would know from my own because, mm -hmm. you know, it's interesting to look up mm -hmm. like, what people, or I don't even know who makes these, but people, what they have to say about your personality based off of your birth date. So let's look at some Scorpio traits and let's look at some oh, yeah, Aquarius yeah. traits. I'm, I'm curious. Yes. Yeah, the 10 Scorpio personality traits to know. Okay. Oh, there's a positive and negative Yeah, too. there's always positive and negatives because of course, if you just say positive things, <laughs> then people will be like, yo. Okay, equal. yeah, but. Equal rights. <laughs> what do you mean Or it's Scorpios. Positive Scorpio traits, determined, brave, loyal, honest, vicious. These are all good. Negative. Lo okay, negative. Jealous, secretive, resentful, controlling, stubborn. Such strong words to describe. Controlling? Yeah, controlling. I don't, I don't like that. You don't, you're not like that. Well, what do you know? The horoscope is wrong. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Resentful. Sheesh. I feel like they're so aggressive. Oh, relationship. Oh, okay. Well, before we go into that, let's look at Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Visionary. Intelligent. Original. Oh, yeah. Original. I like that. That's it. That's all you are, though. <laughs> well, what was it? it was like three. three it was three. <laughs> Cold, condescending, overly idealistic. No. Unpredictable. No. No? No. You don't think so? I'm not unpredictable. I agree. I'm not idealistic. I'm really realistic. So yeah, what is the Aquarius and Scorpio compatibility? Yeah, let's take a look. I looked it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm looking at it from a Scorpio's perspective. Mm -hmm. So the most compatible signs with Scorpio are generally considered to be Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces. The least compatible signs with Scorpio are generally considered to be Leo and Aquarius. Well, ain't that, ain't that a little bitch? We looked it up and we found out that they're not really compatible. <laughs> we totally forgot to talk about Chinese Zodiac at the time. So I'm gonna do it right now, briefly. Chinese Zodiac is obviously originated from China, but also popular in East Asian and some Southeast Asian countries. 
It's based on the lunar calendar with 12 animals. Each year is represented by 12 animals. It goes from red, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. And it goes into 12 year cycle each year. Each animal has own personalities and is also used for fortune telling and comparability between animals. So basically it's saying that people who were born in the same year has same personalities. Huh. Okay. According to this blog, dog sign people are intelligent, rational, responsible, loyal, sharp eyed. That's so me. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna take a look at is MBTI mm -hmm. or Myers Briggs. What is it? Myers Briggs Test Indicator. I think so. Yeah. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. MBTI. You basically take a set of mm -hmm. questions and it will assign you to one of nine, right? Sixteen personalities. One of sixteen personalities. Mm -hmm. There are four categories. Yes. An introversion mm -hmm. or extroversion. So that's one category. Uh -huh. okay. And sensing or intuition, mm -hmm. an S or I, and then thinking or feeling, T or F, and, and the last judging or perceiving, mm -hmm. J or P. Before, we both got INTJ as our yeah. personality mm -hmm. result, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, I did way before when I was in Air Force. That one was the like, official MBTI with the paper, a lot mm -hmm. of paper, since we are INTJs, we're gonna take the test online. And then let's see if we get the same result. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you wanna cry too. Mm. Sometimes. I'm gonna say slightly disagree. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do that, yeah. Yeah, so. because like, I definitely feel for people, mm. but I don't think it makes me wanna cry as well, mm. but you know. Yeah. I I cry a lot actually, but I cry when I'm sad. I don't cry when somebody's sad. Only when you're sad. That's not my business. <laughs> it's not your business. <laughs> I searched everywhere. I looked through hundreds of files, searched through my text messages. I even looked everywhere in my wardrobe, but I just couldn't find where I asked for your opinion. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Three, two, one. Disagree. I can't control myself. It's not like anger problem, it's like sad problem. I can't control my anxiety and sadness. I think that I stay pretty calm though. I have a lot of things that are thrown at me all the time, but keeping that calm demeanor helps me to do everything I need to do. So I guess since we both are Mm. Opposites, mm. we're gonna just say neutral. Yeah. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yeah. I'd I say, would agree. say strongly agree. Yeah, either agree or strongly agree. Uh, Usually, strongly. I'm just gonna spend my time with those that I know because it's not easy making new friends. <laughs> I'm not a small talk kind of person, mm -hmm. and so if I have to engage in small talk for like 10 minutes even that's like too much to me i don't know i would prefer to connect with somebody on a deeper level even if it's just, just a friend you know like we have something mm -hmm. in common that we both are really passionate about or like jay and i like we connect on a deeper level mm -hmm. because we have very similar mindset and perspective on things so that's what i enjoy but you know small talk is necessary you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Strongly disagree. Oh, rarely worry about. Yeah, yeah strongly disagree. Yeah. Yeah, you always want to make a good impression. Mm. Like, you never know who that person might be to you in the future. Mm -hmm. All right, my mom had this little set. It's like an oven mitt set that was just on the wall. Mm -hmm. We never used it. And on the mitt, it said, be nice to everyone you meet because it could be an angel. And I feel like, like I agree with it mm. to a degree, mm -hmm. maybe not as far as being an angel, but you mm. seriously never know 
who that person might be, yeah. like what they could do for you, what you can do for them. Like, great. you enjoy participating in group activities. No. I think I'd rather be alone. Strongly disagree. I'm gonna say disagree. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Me, agree. Me, disagree. I wonder what this personality is gonna yeah. pop up to be. Yeah, I didn't know we have these like, different opinions on some topics. Yeah. Mm. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality than their, and less on their feelings. I, I was strongly yeah. agree. I would say strongly agree. Oh buddy, 40%. You enjoy walk, watching people argue. I love watching. I actually, I I do, but it's hard to do when it's something that you are, you're passionate about in the opposing, you know, mm. the opposing view. I think it is necessary for you on either side to listen to the other side. So that's why I'm trying to push myself to do it. Mm -hmm. But it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to do. Mm, it's hard. I really love watching uncomfortable and awkward. Right? Even though I feel like, oh, like awkward and got so mad when I watch some debating or things that I don't agree. Yeah. But it's still fun, you know? You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Yes. I strongly agree. Yes. Just we're, wanna, I just want to blend Ironically, in. we're doing YouTube. You know what? You know what? Yeah. That's why, you know what? That's why I'm still like, feel awkward in front of the camera. Mm. Because I'm introvert, super introvert. Yeah. But I'm still doing it for you guys. <laughs> for you, for the cuppies. Yes. You avoid making phone calls. Me, that's me. Even in Korean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like phone calls. Even with my friends, so I just usually just avoid it. Yeah. I don't take it. Yeah. But do you ever avoid my phone calls? I don't think so. No. If somebody calls me, I don't really want to talk on the phone. Like my brother, he loves to FaceTime, which mm -hmm. is like the next level, you know, like showing my face. And I'm like, bro, can you just text me? It's like, worse. what's wrong with you? You're 20, you should be texting me, not calling me. You are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. I think that's you. Yeah. I would say slightly agree for me. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. No. no. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Hell nah. It'll work out. It'll be fine. I guess let's put neutral. You will? You you agree with that? Yeah. Let's see. Alright. Optional. Yep. See results. <gasps> We still yeah. got INTJ. So officially, our couple personality type of MBTI test is INTJ. I can't believe it's still well, INTJ. Yeah. Like we both are INTJs taking this test for INTJs yeah. or taking this test and still got the same thing. Wow, interesting. That's so interesting. So we are 83% introvert. Okay, <laughs> I knew that already. 77% intuitive, mm -hmm. interesting, rather than observant. 79% thinking versus feeling. 67% judging versus prospecting. And 58% turbulent versus assertive. Okay, let's see romantic relationships. People with INTJ personality type approach romance the way they do most challenges strategically with clear-cut goals and a plan for reaching them. In a purely rational world, this approach would be foolproof. Alas, it ignores important factors that architects for INTJ sometimes dismiss, such as the unpredictability of human nature and affection. For these personalities, finding a compatible partner can be a particular challenge. Rarely satisfied with things as they are, architects are always developing a world in which their minds... Wait, 
Architects are always developing a world in their minds that is more perfect than reality. You know, this is so detailed too. Mm. Like it's so detailed for being not that accurate. <laughs> and I mean, not that accurate as in most of these are very exaggerated mm. Mm. and also very general. And so of course, if you have some questions that are geared up on how introvert or how extrovert are you? It's kind of easy to give a percentage, but that doesn't really mean that all of these things combined make your personality. Everyone is too unique to only be a part of 16 or four or 12 different personality types. Mm. I know, I get what you mean. I think it's more like spectrum. Yeah. It's not just like, you are this. Yeah. Yeah, where your blood type is A. So you must be this. Yeah, you must be this. Yeah. No. So I think I have extrovert somewhere, <laughs> but only, somewhere. only 17%. Apparently. And in introvert. How introvert are you? How mm. this How intuitive you? are yeah. you? How spectrum. much do you I think? I think it's about spectrum. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the reason why we talked about this test yeah. the way we did is because we were looking at something called the Barnum or four mm. effect which I'm just going to give you the definition. The Barnum effect is the tendency to accept certain information as true, such as character assessments or horoscopes, even when the information is so vague as to be worthless. Mm. So basically, most of these things are very general because it needs to fit a very large population of people, the whole world, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of people. And so because they're so general, it is almost impossible to zero in on someone's actual personality based off of these tests. The binary effect can be affected on that fortune telling too. Yeah. Like in Korea too, we have like shamanism. They tell you your future. So Yeah, it didn't someone, I think it was where his wife, their family really believed in like oh, yeah, shamanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they got married on the day that the shaman said that they should get married. Mm -hmm. At the time that the shaman said that they should get married. Mm -hmm. Some people still believe, strongly believe that they gotta move at that specific day. They gotta see if I can marry with this guy and my baby's name, even they gotta make baby's names. And they tell you the fortune telling. This summer, you gotta be careful of water. No, next year, you gotta be careful of car accident. Oh, yes. okay. Thank you for that. Okay. Oh, oh. Do we have parents? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> and you're like, thank you so much for your evaluation. Yeah. That was so valuable. But even like when you think about it, we do this a lot. Like I remember on Facebook, maybe it's still happening, but there was a time where BuzzFeed quizzes were off the chain. Mm -hmm. Like there was a BuzzFeed quiz for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What type of toast you like? What kind of music you might be into? Mm -hmm. What kind of Disney princess are you? Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. those are all like geared from the mm -hmm. Barnum effect mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Just like taking these very minuscule aspects of you from the questions that you answer and to assign you to something. It's always about putting us into a category. We just love categorizing people yeah. and anything, mm -hmm. even themselves, and make a community. You're, you're INTJs yeah. too? Yeah, oh, you're Scorpio too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Scorpio gangs, like, <laughs> stuff like that. From the blood type or horoscopes or even MBTI, one could technically classify these as pseudoscience, but we just want to let you know that we know that these are more for for fun, more for mm -hmm. entertainment purposes. And mm -hmm. so we're not sitting here to shit on it. We're just saying that this is this is the facts about it. Mm -hmm. You know, like they're not really real, but they're fun, of course. Like it's fun. It's fun. It's fun, it's fun to put yourself in this category and like and relate still, to people. Yeah, I'm still INTJ. Yeah. yeah. And we're apparently our whole relationship is still INTJ. So yeah, we just want to put that out there for you guys to know. This is the first video we've done where we kind of 
discuss something like this and put our complete input on it. So it is a little bit different than videos that we have done. But if you're interested in hearing our perspective on other topics, feel free to let us know. Comment below if you feel like there's something else you'd like us to speak mm -hmm. on because we like to talk about these things. And like we said, from the tests that we took from MBTI, that we do enjoy talking about things that maybe we don't e even agree with. Mm -hmm. So it could be interesting for us. We can also learn more and also share our perspective on it as well. Yeah. And yeah, we asked you guys about our intro copies mm -hmm. and a lot of people said we got to keep it. So from this video, we're going to keep it. Yes. Yes, we heard you, we saw you, you want us to keep cuppies, yeah. and we're gonna keep it. Mm -hmm. Cuppies. Mm -hmm. That's good. If you like, like. If you love, subscribe. If you really love, share with your friends. Thanks for watching. See, See you, you later. later.